Well, when you think of racing, what comes to mind? Olympic runners? Brainerd International Raceway? Well, I'm pretty sure what doesn't come to mind is turtles. Yet for the 58th straight year, Nisswa hosted their turtle races. Chris Burns tells us more for tonight's In Focus. On your mark, get set, go! While some turtles shot right out of the gate, others took their sweet time. I was on my game, but the turtle, he, uh, yeah, he backed out on me. <laughs> took a nap, <laughs> actually. All having the same goal of breaking past the yellow line, hearing the whistle blow, and sending the crowd into a roar. On Wednesdays in the summer, we come out here and we brace turtles, and we have about 5,000 kids and adults that do it every summer. If you think racing turtles is all about selecting the right turtle, you haven't been to these turtle races. Some people are looking for any type of advantage they can get. We're dressed as turtles here. We think that it's going to help us win the races as I pulled off a win here tonight, so I think that uh, it's a big factor in the win. Not only are the turtles under much scrutiny, the referees who volunteer spend their entire offseason getting ready for this moment. Oh, it's real easy. You know, you think about it leading up to the day and what you might do to drown out that noise and the distraction. And really, when you get in there, everything just goes away and you stay focused right on the turtle. So. It really didn't take much, to be honest with you. I didn't hear anybody. I didn't see anybody. I was just all turtle. Now, of course, he's just joking, but that's the whole point of this event, to have fun and spend time with your family. People have been coming up to us and saying, it's been three generations I've been here turtle racing. I'm with mom, who's with grandpa, and they've raced, and now I'm racing, and my kids are racing. All the generations of families, the tourists from all over the world, and the turtles all come together for a greater cause. The Mounted Eagles bring in the turtles for us to race. That's our nonprofit. And so the money that is raised through turtle races partially goes to fund their program that helps disabled kids um, learn to ride horses and equine therapy. More than 500 people participated in the turtle races, all leaving a little more wet than they came while helping the community of Nisswa come together. Reporting in Nisswa for this week's In Focus, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. That turtle there kind of looked like snow rounding third today oh. on your highlights. <laughs> yeah, I thought a slow and steady wins the race. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Registration for the turtle races starts in downtown Nisswa at 1 p.m. the day of the races with the event starting an hour later. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.